Hey there everybody, it's Randy from Sesame and you're very welcome to follow along in this video to learn how to set up your Sesame account with Google Calendar Sync. So we're on the dashboard here and the very first thing is to simply navigate to the team tab, click on the actual team member that you want to enable Google Calendar Sync and make sure number one, to have the actual email address entered and saved on this team member. So click on save. Now, what is important to note is that the email address on Sesame needs to be exactly the same as the email address on your Google Calendar. If it's not the same, it's just not going to work out. So this email address needs to be the same thing as your Google Calendar account. On the advanced tab, there's going to be a section here called Google Calendar Sync. And what we want to do is we just want to click on that link a calendar button and a notification will pop up saying that an email will be sent to that email address. Click on send invite. Now just navigate to your email account and approve that in the process. I'm going to speed this section up, but basically check your email and approve the access request. Once everything is set on your Google calendar, just go back to the team tab click on the advanced section and you'll see here that the state of that Google Calendar sync is now green, which indicates that it has been successfully synced. Now to test everything out, what we'll want to do is on your Google Calendar, just block off some times so that it'll be reflected on Sesame. So in order to test the Google Calendar sync out, make sure number one to have available time on your schedule for that team member. So. You can see here for tomorrow, which is Wednesday, November 11, I have 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. as available time. I'm going to move to my calendar on Google Calendar and block off a time. So for example, a lunch period or lunch time. So let's go from 12 to uh, maybe have an extended lunch, 12 to 1.30. Click on save. Now, when we go back to the Sesame app, on the calendar, there's going to be a new block of time called synced event right here, which blocks off the time that corresponds to the calendar that we just made. So 12 to 1.30 and 12 to 1.30 PM. And that's pretty much it in terms of setting up a Google Calendar Sync and Sesame. If you have more questions, feel free to reach out to us at help.sesame.co.